Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, and it's time for some vertical scrolly action. Yes, this is Pro Power Boat Simulator on the Commodore Amiga, published by Codemasters in 1990. It's for one to two players, but I'm the only player here, so I guess we better do one player then. It's top-down action, as I say, vertical scrolling. You're in a power boat. Now, I'm not sure how much of a simulation this is. It's, I think it's going to be more like arcadey. But you must uh, traverse the course, which is always is vertical. It never scrolls either way. Uh, to get to the end before the time runs out. Now you can drop bombs, you need to replenish your fuel, and there'll be enemy boats to try and knock you into the scenery. So here I go in my power boat. Uh, so not too bad so far. Crashing into the scenery will cost you. Uh, all my stuff's on the top right there. My score, uh, how many lives I've got left is four. Uh, bombs I've got left is five. You can crash into the other boats, you won't blow up, but just don't let them push you into the scenery. Occasionally helicopters come along to obscure the view and try and drop bombs for you to run into. By collecting the flags, I can top up my time, which you can see is ticking down in the uh, top left. Now this is my first go of the thing, so um, don't expect expert gameplay, we're all having a laugh here. It's about how you got on in your first and second go, and I quite like this. It's not, it's not using the Commodore Amiga to its full potential, there's no music playing during the game, but I like the thing. There's something a bit fun about it, though, because I think it's because I'm not dying straight away, I think. So, still got four lives left. Top up your fool by collecting uh, um, those things I just collected. Top up bombs by collecting those other things. Oh, don't let them bash you into the scenery. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. I will just add as well, it might change your mind about the quality of the game. It was a budget title by Codemasters. Whoops, it wasn't. Is that going to be quick enough? Yes, so it wasn't a full price game. Not quite sure how many levels it's got, but I expect it to be quite exciting in two players. You try and knock each other off the screen. Oops, don't bump into that jetty, Nick. Let's see if I can get off uh, stage one. So if there had been a second player here, you can see in the yellow below the, the red bit on the right, whee, then they would uh, be uh, using that. Come on, now, if you've completed this, let me know. If you watch this far into the video, please consider subscribing. Cause it might, hey, we've done it, first go. So it might be a case that you like this kind of stuff. It's fairly easy then, because I did it on my first go. Uh, so we'll see how far I get on this one. Codemasters 1990, so many games. You might not have heard of this, but Codemasters did have a few. Oops, this is a, I think we need to go through these boys. There we go. So, whoops. Yeah, didn't pay attention there. Yeah, so Cobas has had quite a few uh, budget games. This might be one that you have not heard of back in the days. So we go to stage two, we've got five lives, we've got eight mines, and we don't want to bash into anything. So, don't run into bombs, don't run out of fuel, don't run out of time, and just manoeuvre all the way around and get ramps when you can do. Uh, so quite an easy premise, quite quickly for a kid to get into, you wouldn't necessarily need to read any of the instructions, and that's why I would have loved it. And the thing you're controlling here, this boat, this is it's rather cool. Are we going down the Thames now? I think we just went through the Thames barrier, but I could be wrong. Buff. Right, so that's extra time for me. Only a little bit. So the levels do look a bit different. See the shadowing on the right there? I think it's trying to... Oops. No, it hasn't made it. So I need the um, ramp either way. Yes, the shadow is trying to represent, I think, landmarks. Let's go over this one. Quite generous the amount of lives you've got as well. Uh, it doesn't move overly first. Um, it's... Uh, well, it's a bit of a leisurely place for a powerboat, really. But it's called Pro Powerboat Simulator. Is this a simulator of powerboat racing? Well, not really. Oh, oh the police shot me there. It's pure arcade uh, style. Seems just a flight of fancy. Got some save points, it seems. Puts us back there. Come on, Nick. Get off stage two. 57 seconds, or whatever that dom domination of time is, to go. The enemy will bunch together in their boat to try and knock you into the scenery, but you can power past them. Whoops, and don't get shot by people going past. In particular, though, police. Right, through the water we go. It doesn't look as polluted as I remember. It's a nice crisp blue. Whoops, this is going to end badly, is it? We're over, we're over. Hooray! If you have gone down the Thames in a power boat, then comment in the comment section below. 37 seconds, can't be too much longer of this to go. I like the ripple effect. Oops, oh no. Yeah, so you do need to learn the course, I suppose, each side to know what is coming up. But I think just with a few goes on this, you'll be you'll be going quite quickly. I think that should be good enough, shouldn't it? No, you need the extreme right or extreme left. Was that my last life? No, one life left. You need extreme right or left with this bit. So I've lost quite a lot of lives here, which I didn't need to. That should do it. 
maybe best to keep as far away from the uh, the shoreline or the coastline, whatever you're going to call it here, as possible. That's a boo-boo. Could have stayed in the middle there. So not all ramps are good. That's game over. Game over, do. It's not the most advanced game, but it is a budget game. It's got nice jolly music too. And Big Nose is on the high score chart, which wasn't me. It's, it starts with Big Nose, you know, and Biff as well. Buff and Ziggy. Ziggy play guitar and Jason and Fizban and Mus One and Radar. Step on it, Big Nose. Pro Powerboat Simulator. I think this game also came out on the ZX Spectrum, but I've never seen it. I've never been able to track it down either. But Pro Power Power Simulator, the Co-Master did like a lot of their simulator games, and simulator must be a bit tongue-in-cheek. I'll have another go, but this won't be a complete walkthrough. We're just playing for a bit of fun here. Uh, thank you to the subscribers. If you want to help the channel continue as we try and uh, review everything, uh, then please consider becoming a member. Click on that join button. It's not compulsory by any means. I don't feel uh, pressured, but it does help me continue. Continue. Right, now, here we go again. So stage one. Uh, these rowers, we avoid them. That's fuel there, but I don't need fuel at the moment. It's ticking down. I'm currently in the yellow for fuel, so still okay. More to oh, look at that. And that's what happens. If you drift too near the shoreline to try and collect some of these power-ups, the enemy could just bash you and you blow up. Speedboat nincompoops. That's what I would have called, called them. And that would have been a good name for the game. Speedboat nincompoops. Tough luck, sir. You've exploded and you. The, the rowers there, they might be in the boat race. I'm not sure. They seem to be a bit lost. If you recognise any of this scenery, let me know. But I think it's fictitious. But I think the second scene might be based loosely on, on the Thames. I don't know what this one's based on. Here comes a helicopter. Don't let it biff you. My favourite helicopter in a game, well, um, that come in, and these vertical scroller ones would have to be Spy Hunter. More fuel, please. Mrs. Boof. Right, so I've got eight, eight landmines. Oh, I had no chance there. So accelerate, decelerate, left and right, fire button to press the uh, bombs and go over the ramps wisely. Am I doing worse than last time? Do not know. I've got the, well, I've got, yeah, I've only got two lives left, so I am doing worse than last time. Isn't that always the way with these reviews? Through there. What's that? I don't know what that was. That might have been an extra life. Oh, I've missed the ramp. Wally Wombat. Boof. I would have liked, um, I might be asking a bit too much about the title, I would have liked it to um, vary, so you go around a corner, then you're doing horizontal action for a while, that would have been a nice little touch, whether it does that later on, but I believe it is just all vertical all the way through. Uh, bold, colourful uh, graphics, we'd like to see this on the section to be fair. Right, that's over that, here comes a helicopter of doom again, no, ooh, that's close, I think I went managed to go backwards that time. It does feel like it's been made with some sort of like shoot em up construction kit though, but anyway, I'm glad they didn't put it in space like loads of other ones, so it's, uh, it's interesting in that way, it's rather unique. Don't crash into the jetty. Turbo, whoops. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't seem to be, well always, it doesn't seem to be that you're going quick enough to make the jump. Let's get around this island. No, I don't like having, I don't like having these bully boys either side of me. Oh! And that's what happens. You go slow, you get knocked off. I've only got one life left, so it looks like I'm not even going to get off level one this time. There's something amazing happens. We need a nice clear run here. Turboing through. Not much waves hitting the shoreline, so not much erosion. That was close. Yay! We've done it again. So, you know, I've had two goes of it, and I've got past level one on both goes. So you should be able to do that, unless you're having a bit of a bad day. Uh, let's see if we can do a bit better in the bonus round now I know what to do. Let's just keep going through these boys. Right, one, two, three, four. How many got to? Five, that's close. Six, seven, eight. Is it, what's that going to be? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, what's, what's that? Fifteen. Oh, how many have we got to do now? Is that it? Is that it? Yay, well done, player one. Well, that was that was a bit uninspiring. That's an uninspiring bonus round for a thousand points. Stage two in our power boat of doom. Here we go. Uh, Landmines 10, lives 1. We've been here before, but let's see if I can get further than last time. But, you know, just one life left. So it could end real, real quick. Real quick here. Get ready. And ice cream. Ice cream. No, that's the wrong game. Right, forward. No sharks here, I can tell. Through the Thames Barrier. I'm sure that's what it must be. That, that bolt's just going real slow. More time, please. 
lots of bolts uh, moored each side. He's weaving back and forth. Nothing coming in the opposite direction, which is good. I think if you dropped, uh, oh no, I think if you dropped landmines in the Thames, I think you'd get told off by the police a little bit. So I've done that right this time. What's the lead? An extra life uh, would be quite nice to be able to deal with. There's a helicopter. There it comes. Get out of the way. Now, this is where I sort of went wrong Whoa, with the uh, ramps last time. I've been shot by the police. Is that, have I got away with that? Yes. Now, now I seem to remember we got to a bit where we need extremes, either extreme right or extreme left. Can't quite remember, though, where that's coming up. It's going to be round about, no, that's not it. Is it, is it, is it? Right, got away with that. I think the next one is extreme right, extreme left. Always try and learn with what's happened before. Slight shadowing uh, below the bolt, which gives it a bit of definition. That's it. I think we're going to do further than last time. Yay. Right, there we go. Can we complete stage two? Oh, I've missed the... Hang on a minute. Don't... Oh, that's unfair. They knocked me onto the ramp. I knew... I knew not to go on that ramp, but they knocked me onto it, the, uh, the smeggers. Ugh, ugh. Game over. Game over, boys. Well, quite a fun game for a budget title. I wouldn't have been disappointed at all. And I think I got a higher score than last time, so I'm getting gradually uh, better. With a few goals, I'd be confident I'll get onto stage three, then four, and then maybe even complete the game within a week. So, you know, not a super sensational game, but for what it's worth for a budget title, I, I, I like it. It's doing all, all good things uh, for me. So I hope you'd like to have a look at that one. That is Pro Power Boat Simulator on the Commodore Amiga, published by Codemasters in 1990, a fun budget title. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games or anything retro then please put that below you're always more than welcome who's shooting at me until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye, goodbye.